Today, Fort Hood Army Specialist Vanessa Guillen would have turned 24 years old. Her 2020 murder sparked a national conversation about military sexual harassment and assault. City leaders in Houston held an event in her honor in the Sunnyside neighborhood. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle reports on what was done for the soldiers today. Sherman. Yeah, good evening, Tom. This is a joint effort by the mayor's office and also the foundation that's ran by the family. It was an effort to help people as much as they could. They wanted to create a safe space for military members to talk about their own difficult experiences and be empowered to speak up. Yes, there will be some things that may be said that you hear that may trigger you, and that's okay because we are here to grow together. Service members and veterans gather in Sunnyside in an effort to heal from trauma and create conversations about sexual assault and harassment in the military. All of this on the birthday of Vanessa Guillen. Guillen was a 20-year-old Army specialist murdered at Fort Hood in April of 2020, shortly after reporting specialist Aaron David Robinson sexually harassed her. Guillen's death sparked a national conversation, one that city leaders say is finally starting to make a difference. Thankfully, because her life, because the life that she gave, uh, the, the doors began to open and the women became to come behind from behind the doors and start to become unsilenced because of what she went through, and they all became the faces of Vanessa. Her sister, Myra Guillen, was in attendance on behalf of the family's foundation. She posted about her sister on social media site X, celebrating her life and legacy she left behind. Part of that legacy comes with state legislation honoring the soldier's name and aiming to protect men and women in the military who report harassment or assault without fear of retaliation and a break of confidentiality. There are many men that experience military sexual trauma and they are uh, ashamed or afraid to come forward and they live with these things in silence because they feel that they're alone. And the purpose of this is so everybody knows you are not alone. City leaders and Guillen's family aim to see more progress as many more people who devote their lives to serving the country suffer in silence. More legislation uh, to hold the commands accountable. Uh, when someone comes, a, a, someone comes forward to say that they have been harassed by their brothers in arm, that someone does something, and it's not 15, 20 years later when they're, they're re reliving the whole memory and, and wishing that they would have said something. Just last month, Cecily Aguilar was sentenced to 30 years in prison for helping to dispose of Guillen's body, something that she aided her boyfriend, Aaron David Johnson Robinson, in doing. The family says they continue in their fight for Vanessa and other soldiers just like her. Reporting from the newsroom, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.